I was just about to get my halftime video started, and now we're about to give up a fucking field goal. Because we wouldn't make a fucking tackle on a guy. God damn it. Alright, wait. Let's wait and see what happens here with the with the creator field goal. 62 yards. I bet he looks it up there. Motherfucker. Of course he makes the fucking field goal. I hate how no kickers can ever miss field goals against the Vikings. I fucking hate Matt Prater. I cannot wait till Matt Prater retires. He has been tor he tormented us, cost us a fucking game in sixteen. <sighs> Jesus Christ, man! They had like fifteen seconds left, and we didn't make a goddamn tackle on a guy in bounds. Jesus Christ, man! All right, fuck. I was gonna do just a quick first half video because I'm. There's too much stuff to even talk about already, and we got half a game left. Um, I can't... St I'm so glad Kyler Murray does not play in the goddamn FC North. <laughs> and we only have to play him, you know, not every year. You know, you know, this is the first time we played him. You know, we might not play him again for a couple years. I'm so glad about that because, Jesus fucking Christ, this guy is Houdini. He, he is... He's, he's just... He, this, is, this is like facing... Like an even more slippery version of like an Aaron Rodgers or Russell Wilson. This guy is just you can't you can't bring him down. Um, and I love like I think the Viking defense to this point has done. I mean, obviously not, not with the this bullshit that they just did right before the half, not making a tackle on the guy. You know, and then they somebody blew a fucking coverage, a deep coverage on a long touchdown, and I don't know who it was. Probably safety when something that deep. Um, you know, for the most part, I think they've done about as, well, as well as they can against this fucking Houdini that the Cardinals have as their quarterback. And yet we're down 24-23 at the half after all this, after all this shit. We just had one of the best halves of Kirk Cousins' career. Oh my god. There's so much to talk about. <laughs> Who knows what's going to happen in the second half? Um, God, that pisses me off that we gave up that field goal. And of course, we missed it. I'm not going to rip Joseph too much. He just, he just like minutes ago, made a 50 yarder to give us the lead again temporarily. Um, but he did miss a PAT, and you know that's going to come back to cost him. Mouser's even said, Ooh, I wonder if that's going to come back to cost the Vikings. It's, it's a fucking missed kick. It always comes back to cost the Vikings. Um, but, I mean, Zimmer's got to do something. I don't know what you can do against this fucking guy, but they've gotten pressure in this game. They've gotten pressure the whole game, but it's like they'll run right at the guy. Whichever guy's going in, they'll run right at the guy. And then, as soon as he gets close, he just spins out of the way, and then he's out in open space. They're not, they're not accounting for that at all. They're not, if this is the plan to just run right at a guy, like, you know, it's not going to work. That's not a plan that's going to work. You're not going to get, you're not going to get, the, I think they got one sack, but you're not going to get Murray down consistently doing that shit. Um, like, I think they've, for the most part, though, the Vikings have kind of done what they did. They've done what they're supposed to do other than containing Murray, but you know, there's only so much you can do. Like they've made they've made a couple plays. They got a sack, they made a big uh, third down stop. You know, they've done some they've done some stuff and here we are that's twenty four points. Um fortunately the offense has been has been uh, keeping it up. Kirk, great fucking first half. I don't think I've ever been more excited about a first drive touchdown than I was about that bomb to Osborne. Uh, Kirsch got three touchdowns. He threw one to to Jefferson on a real good uh, one where he kind of rolled out and then threw kind of back across his body. Um, and then he hit one He hit uh, one to Thielen. Um, Cook is just running out in space a lot. Like, we're really run blocking. Like, they weren't run blocking at all last week. They're really blocking for him this week. He's got big holes to run through. Fucking shoe top tackles a couple times or he would have housed a couple of these things. Um, 
Only like you know, I'm always I'm 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 all, I'm all about like evaluating Clint Kubiak. For the most part, I think he's done pretty good. I didn't like the fucking um, the uh, the one right before the long broken coverage Cardinal touchdown. We had a third and one, and they do the deep handoff to Cook. I, why do any coaches still do these these deep handoffs on short yardage situations? It's a terrible idea. It even if it works, it's a terrible idea. You're requiring a guy to get, you know, four, five, sometimes even more than that yards instead of one. When you need one, and it was third and one, you needed that to keep the drive going. Worst case scenario at that point, we're probably looking at uh, twenty to fourteen Vikings right now. Instead, it's twenty four, twenty three them. Like so much happened just after that. Um, you know, they had a two minute drill. I don't know what they were doing. They called a fucking timeout. They burned a timeout after a, a out of bounds play, and you know Kubiak called, got way too cute. They were, they ran it with Cook. It was a good run. They got him the first down. Then they burned a timeout, and then they went back to Cook again. Terrible call because then that you know um, that burned off a bunch of time, you know. But. This is this is the problem. This is this is the problem of losing a game last week that you should have won. Is you're playing way better today, and you're still trailing because you're playing a much better team. And they've done like and that, and of course the Vikings got to give the ball to Cardinals start the third quarter. So who knows? This this thing could be 31-23, and then we're playing catch up mode the whole game, and then that changes how you call the game. Um, I mean they've been aggressive. They've been you know. Offensive line is really playing well, both on both accounts, both pass and run. You know, they've they've really, you know, no one no one's gonna be able to accuse them. You know, that people like to say, well, Zoomer teams never show up for road games. No one's gonna be able to fucking say that on this one. But it's like they've played so well in so many areas, and they're still losing. And there's and this is for sure gonna be, you know, a, a deep four quarter game. And they got a fucking Houdini guy <laughs> under center. And I don't know, like, they had a fucking luckiest play, one of the luckiest plays ever. I thought I thought a ball was going to be picked off. It said it was tipped twice. Guy for the Cardinals got it, ran like 40 yards, and that got led to a touchdown. Like, you know, they fumble it on, like, the two. It goes into Vigil's hands. He just, he it went right into his hands, but he missed... Uh, having two feet in bounds by like a, a toe. It was just, it's just shit like that happens. <laughs> and it's like, come on. Can the football gods just quit fucking us for one goddamn Sunday afternoon? They're playing so well in so many ways, and all the luck has gone against them. This fucking Houdini Murray is killing them on everything. This is a very winnable game, and they should be leading now, but they're not, and it's frustrating as hell, but I've got a whole half of angst left to go, and boy, I hope I hope the recap video is happy, but <laughs> it seems like they're doing everything possible to win, and they're not winning, and it's, it's really fucking irritating, but uh, hey, we're in this game, we're moving the ball, we're going to have to keep scoring. I said this was going to be in the 30s. I mean, we're already almost there. So all we can do is just try to keep doing what we're doing and hope that the luck turns a little bit.